from the fragrances that I owned in the past to my present collection, these are my top 10 best smelling fragrances as of today. And surprisingly, some of these are very inexpensive. And I mean very inexpensive. Welcome back. Starting this list, I'm going to give you an honorable mention. And one of the reasons you probably haven't heard of this fragrance is because you don't follow my channel. I don't get paid to promote fragrances, so this is my honest opinion. From the autobiography line, Parish Corner. And as my honorable mention, it is Supreme Gold. Now with this, just imagine a lot of cinnamon, sort of like a honey accord. You're going to get some vanilla with tobacco. The spices added from some pepper. And for your base, you're getting cedar notes, woody notes, and you're going to get a musky accord. Now, this is woody, earthy, sweet, spicy, almost a gourmand, but it's very light. If it performed better, it would rank a little closer to the list, but the performance on this is not that good. It's more of a probably a half a foot radius projection, and then you probably going to get six to seven hours on it but as far as smell this is a very nice cinnamon vanilla spice based fragrance with the little tobacco added as undertones one i think you will enjoy and that is supreme gold from the autobiography line now kicking this list off at number 10 and this is one of these fragrances i really don't understand why you haven't gotten your hands on it but you can even check the ratings on the site uh go check out perfumo.net and at one time, this was ranked 9.6. And it's so cheaper, you can get it for about $35, a nice summer spring scent. And that fragrance is coming from the house of Athnon, and that is Tribute Blue. Now, when you first open up, you're gonna get some pimento mixed along with some bergamot. Along comes some nutmeg to add some spiciness to it. In the heart, that's when you're gonna pick up on some cashmere notes that adds a tiny bit of sharpness and brightness to it followed by some frankincense and some vetiver. Now this is fresh, slightly green, kind of aquatic, spicy, with a little sweetness on it. Now you're talking about a perfect spring, summer type scent. I remember when I first wore this, went to a restaurant, this host is like, one of y'all show smell good, and it was Tribute Blue. I'm telling you right now, don't hesitate, grab this fragrance, especially for the spring, summertime. Very lovely fragrance, I think you'll enjoy it. Now coming up next, I was kind of reluctant to put this in my list, but for those of you who remember this fragrance, this was one of the better fragrances that was ever produced. This was one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Now this fragrance was sadly discontinued and it was a house that did a clone of it and they did this fragrance exceptionally well. And the original fragrance was Magnetism, but the House of Duel did a clone of this fragrance and they did it to perfection. Almost a little better to be honest with you, and that is from the house of door magnetic now i'm telling you now if you haven't smelled magnetism you might want to give this a try i'm telling you a compliment getting fragrance smells so good so lovely at the top of this you get like a grape coca-cola vibe now that followed up by some amber you're gonna get some cedar to make it woody and the base consists of vanilla and leather man this is a lovely scent very unique attention grabbing one i think you will enjoy dual magnetic now coming up next this is probably one of my favorite patchouli scents but it's not your average patchouli scent because up top you're gonna get a lot of bright citrusy note and that fragrance is coming from the house of nicola patchouli intense now up top you're gonna get this lavender a lovely lavender mixed with some orange notes that's combined that's a very pleasant opening then in the heart you're gonna pick up on that cinnamon and that's when that patchouli actually come in the patchouli in this is not earthy the citruses make it more bright then in the base you follow it up with vanilla and you get some amber add some sweetness to it now this is earthy spicy a citrus woody that's sure to turn heads and man the performance on this two three sprays you're gonna radiate at least six feet but it's not harsh it's very pleasant scent, very bright with the little earthiness to it. One I think you will enjoy, and that's patchouli intense from Nicola. Grab it. Now coming up next is sort of a theme because the one house that's not talked about that needs more attention is coming from the house of Afnan, and that is Highness 6. Now this is another fragrance I don't understand why it's not talked about because it's very lovely. Very nice for summery date nights. 
Now, the top is you're going to get a blast of ambergris combined with some fresh notes that makes it sort of aquatic. Then you get some of that nutmeg that makes it a little manly. And followed up in the base, you get a nice lavender. You get some oak moss that give it a little bit greenness to it. You get some patchouli. And to my nose, I pick up that lactamum that makes it sort of smoky, but it's not listed in the fragrance. Now, this is fresh, spicy, smoky and aquatic just imagine a nice aquatic with some dark sexy notes with patchouli and oat moss very sexy fragrance for the summer and spring nights and that is f9 highness six now coming up next doing top 10 best smelling fragrances the list changed over time but this has been a constant in my top 10 of anything list and that is coming from the house of Masera oud lemon mint and you're talking about a fragrance that's garnered compliments and the compliments are not just like you smell good, it's more like, mm, you smell so good. Now when it's open, you're gonna get a nice lemon. It's not the house cleaning lemon, it's, it's a very elegant lemon note. Then some of that almond come through, makes it very creamy, along with some mint, patchouli. Then the base is followed by amber, vanilla, and vetiver. You're talking about a sexy fragrance. I'm telling you, man, check this out. If you haven't smelled it, got your nose on it, I'm telling you, this is a very complimented fragrance. Women love it on you because it's manly. It's kind of fresh, kind of clean. At the same time, being sweet, woody, very nice fragrance. Oud Lemon Mint from the House of Mancera. Now, some of you might know, I love the House of Montel, but kind of got bored of some of their fragrances. You know, had the same base, so you kind of get tired of them. But when I got my hands on this, I was presently surprised because it's a nice fragrance. And that fragrance is Oud Pashmina, Montel. Now the note breakdown is ooh, rose, and gray musk, but it's much, much more than that. The top I'm getting some fruity notes that's not listed. It's very fruity. And the rose, you barely picking up on that rose. It's it way back in the background, and you get that ooh. It's very sweet, a creamy ooh, sweet ooh that's very underrated. It's a spicy, woody, floral, oriental one I think you will enjoy. And that is ooh, pashmina, Montel. Now coming up next is one of my favorite house and this they fragrance this did very well. You're talking about a cardamom bomb that smells so buttery, so creamy, and that is coming from the house of Zerjoff, and that is Starlight. Now the star of the show in this is the cardamom. It's so smells so good, smells so elegant. Then you're gonna pick up on some of that cinnamon, then you're gonna pick up on some almond, it makes it almost buttery smooth, buttery creamy, kind of nutty. And it's followed by some clove and some amber. Now, this is probably the most buttery gourmand fragrance out there. And it's not overly sweet for a gourmand, but it's very buttery, almost rich. One I think you will enjoy, and that is Starlight from the House of Zerjoff. A banging fragrance. Now, coming up next is one of my favorite fragrances. Now, this is the only fragrance in my collection that I have a backup bottle. And... Luckily I did because this fragrance is so hard to find. I don't know if it's discontinued, but Collage, you need to bring this fragrance out. And that's coming from the house of Collage, His Excellency. Now this opened up with some iris, some bergamot. Now the iris in this is not pottery. The combination with that bergamot makes it so elegant. Give it almost a grape smelling vibe, kind of sharp. And in the heart you pick up on geranium, almost like a Spicy rose that sit way back in the background. And what makes this fragrance so lovely is that cedar note combined with the iris. I'm telling you, man, this is a luxury fragrance. It smells so good in my opinion. I was just at the mall and one of my subscribers seen me in there. And if you're watching it, thanks, man. I enjoyed the talk. And he asked me what I was wearing. This was like nine hours later. So it's a very nice performing fragrance. And the price on it wasn't even bad, probably 50 bucks. But one of my best smelling fragrances in my collection, and that is Collage, His Excellency. Coming up next is the Oud Base Fragrance, and I will put this against any Oud Base Fragrance out there. And I said it in one of my previous videos. I'm telling you, it just can't be touched. And that is from the House of Swiss Arabian, Oud 01. Trust me on this. This is probably $85, $90 you find in the right place. This is one of the best smelling Oud fragrances out there. This is one of the best smelling fragrances out there, period. It smells so elegant, has a richness about it. At the top, you're gonna get 
a sweet raspberry, followed by some cardamom and some rose. That's not very detectable. In the dry dye, you're gonna get some amber, along with some leather and some oud. Tell you, man, this is one of the best smelling fragrances out there, in my opinion. Best oud based fragrances. If you can, check it out. Kind of has some gourmand qualities to it. Very nice, elegant, smooth smelling fragrance. And that is oud one from Swiss Arabian. Last but not least, another theme and that's coming from the House of Zerjoff. These fragrances that I review, go check out the ratings if you don't believe me. Some of them rank in the 7.9, but you have to dig deeper into what they're saying and why. Everybody have their own opinion, and these are mine. And, but coming in at the number one spot, that is Alexandra Oriental from the House of Zerjoff. Now you're talking about a banging oud based fragrance added along with some sweetness. At the top, you're gonna get some green apple, you're gonna get some basil to add some spice. Then in the heart, you pick up on a tiny bit of rose that's not dominant, along with some coriander and a boozy vanilla. And the base is followed up by some oud, some musk, and some tobacco. I'm talking about a nice, great smelling fragrance that will turn heads. People will want to know what you're wearing. I'm telling you, it smells expensive, smell really good. And as of today, it's my number one fragrance, and that is Alexandra Oriental from the House of Zerjoff. Watch this video. YouTube gonna want you to watch this video. In the meantime, stay safe, take care of yourself. See you soon, peace.